reinforcements are inbound. Our troops should be holding out at the HQ. All right, I... I had a ton of crashes during this last time. Yep, there it is. It's just the game just crashes anytime I open fire with a machine gun. Well, get me the f out of this crash machine. For the enclaves! Oh! Get the hell out of the way! Yep, right in the head. I forgot, there's like, so many. Hopefully that was a bad guy. Don't let him crash on you. <laughs> there's too many of these damn mother truckers. <laughs> One guy wanted to go out and- Hey, Dooley's! Sorry, no sword fight for you. Oh, God. Good job, everyone. You're all getting promotions, mainly because most of us died. Like an eagle in the night. Good work, Major. But we can't rest yet. Something serious has come up. Can you bring me up to speed on the situation? Our intel shows the Brotherhood has moved into an old test silo north of here, known as Site Gamma. They're preparing to launch a missile against the oil rig. It'd wipe us out in an instant. We're launching an attack on Site Gamma immediately. And you're on the operation. Captain Peterson knows about Site Gamma, so he'll head the operation. Let's teach the Brotherhood a lesson. Yeah. Captain. Major, ready to begin? Let's go. I'm ready. The target is Site Gamma. The facility is covered by two anti-air batteries, which will need to be destroyed before we can send in the main force. We will be airdropped just outside of the anti-air's range. After we've disabled both anti-airs, the main force will arrive. Uh-huh. Once inside the launch site, we fight our way to the control room and clear it. Ready to go? Let's move out. For the Enclave. For the Enclave. Nice try. <laughs> All right, so we've basically, this, we did this all the same. Terminal down, one more to go. So, we are gonna be squatting a pop. You all right, dude? We are gonna be skipping some of this just cause y'all have, have seen this. If you haven't, go back to the uh, main, the main uh, attraction where I didn't betray the general. God rest his evil soul. T minus fifty seconds. Hey, it's Elder Maxon. I remember this happened last time. T minus 40 seconds. You want to take care of it or should I do it? Alright, I'll do it. Ooh, reset target. Cannot clear. Never mind. This missile launch has been aborted. Warhead disarmed. Thank you, God. Ma'am. Remarkable job, Major. I knew I could count on you. 
My pleasure. We can use this to give the Brotherhood a taste of their own medicine. We'll get the Pride Winds coordinates dialed in and launch the missile at it. I think it's the Pride Wind. If that doesn't send a powerful message to them, nothing will. We should be able to take the Vertebrate to watch the destruction. Let me know when you're ready to go. Absolutely. I'm ready to go. Let's finish this. This moment's going to go down in history, you know? This is the moment everything changes. Well, war never changes, but I'll take your word for it. Look at goes. that. Good riddance. One less thing to worry about. It'll be a long time before the Brotherhood of Steel will be able to retaliate. If at all. I'll stay here for a while. We can talk about what's next back on the oil rig. Uh, not to alarm you, but I think that chicken's wearing shoes. God. Damn Brotherhood and their experiments. Alright. Hell yeah. For the Enclave. Sir. Major, I got a situation on my hands and I need your help. A vertebrate's taken heavy damage and has made an emergency landing. We can't afford to lose that bird. I need you to bring this repair kit to the pilot so they can try and get it flying again. I think what we, do you say? I think we did this. Sure, I can do that. I knew I could count on you. Here's the toolkit. Just hand it over to the pilot and they'll do the rest. Yeah. If anything takes out that vertebrate or the pilot dies, the mission's foobar. Watch your back out there. That's right, I remember this, yeah. The pilot was immediately killed. I'll get to this. I'll do it in a few years. We're the only ones that can save our country. That's true. She actually did it. Dr. Kane's FEV is a game changer. So, you changed the uh, screensaver Major, yet? Thank you. The Brotherhood of Steel would have been a constant thorn in our side. And now we can rest easy. Thanks to you. They deserved what they got. They were bastards through and through. <laughs> they had a habit of meddling in things that didn't concern them, didn't they? We're well on our way to establishing ourselves in the Commonwealth. And this show of power was an important step. The people of the Commonwealth now know what happens if they resist our rule. Which we'll start to enforce soon. Of course, first we need to consolidate. We can't risk overextending ourselves. Uh, excuse me, ma'am? Yes, what is it? Apologies for the interruption, but we have a situation at the police station. What sort of situation? The Institute is here, and they want to talk to you. The Institute? What do they want? I don't know. They're refusing to talk to anyone but you. I don't like this. But all right, I'll be there soon. If you'd like to join me, Major, I'm not quite sure where this will go. All right, awesome. See, I don't recall all of Major, uh, Major General, General Ward, General Ward's lines, but I do feel like they are similar. Oh, Jesus Jameson. Christ! Oh my, how, how are you, how? Possible perimeter breach. Fan out. Like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what happened last time. I don't know if we're... I, I'm sure there's a way, but, like, I literally got here two seconds ago. Oh, okay. Brother, Brotherhood! Oh. Thanks for coming. I've got to say, I wasn't expecting the Institute to reach out. What did you want to discuss? Colonel Weidel, is it? First of all, I wanted to express my gratitude for agreeing to meet me at such short notice. Let's be honest, you didn't come here for pleasantries. What do you want? Uh, quite astute. Yes, you're right. I'm Dr. Armstrong, one of the division heads. I come to you with a proposition. What kind of proposition? You see, there's been many disagreements in the boardroom about the focus of our work. What comes next? Many of us simply don't see eye to eye. All the while, we keep wasting resources on frivolous projects. Now, I see myself as a proud patriot. If you were to help me remove the other division heads, 
I could allow you full access to our resources. Our labs, our research, all of it. You'd turn your back on the other Division heads? Just like that? You're right to be skeptical. I cannot stand idly by and watch all our technological achievements be thrown away on glorified vanity projects. Few others see things as I do. So I must take matters into my own hands. <laughs> I've got to admit, I wasn't expecting that. Can we have a moment, please? <laughs> Certainly. Over here, Major. Alright, so last time we sided with uh, the the Institute getting their uh, research and stuff. I guess we, uh... How could we lose both General Ward and Senator Matthews? I don't know, man. So yeah, I guess we'll do the, uh... Kill the Institute unless Colonel White has a, a differing opinion. You know, his offer is tempting. The oil rig is well equipped already, but having the Institute bolster our scientific staff would be invaluable, don't you think? It also gives us a way out of our current conflict with the Institute with minimal casualties. Huh. Could work. I think so too. Oh man, all right, so she really, she's okay with it. Um, hmm. Are there any other options? To be honest, I think we just have a binary choice here. Either we cooperate with Dr. Armstrong and put the Institute to work for us, or we eliminate them entirely. We can't risk letting anybody else get their hands on Institute tech, after all. I mean, I do really see the point in us getting the Institute tech. I don't see how that helps us. We already have an HQ. I see your point. Between the oil rig and the army depot, we can probably make do. What next? I think we'd make them divert focus away from their synths and instead look to improve food and water production. We have limited hydroponics facilities on the oil rig and they could stand for improvement. I'm sure the troops would appreciate better rations. All right, she kind of seems on board with it, so... That's your call to make. Yes, but your opinion's invaluable. Talking this through with you, I do think it's in our best interests to work with Dr. Armstrong. We hold all the cards anyway. Let's go back outside and talk to him about the next steps. All right, so she kind of agreed. All right, I, I'm kind of okay with that. Because otherwise we're just going to blow him up. I mean... General Ward and Senator Matthews both dead? Something doesn't sit right with me. Yeah, write about it in your blog. Hello again, Colonel. Well, what do you say? We'll do it. I think this plan could work well for all of us. I'll assign the Major here to help carry out your plan. Marvelous. I'm glad you see things my way. I'll return to the Institute and make the necessary preparations. You'll hear from me in three days. Three days? I need to make sure I have a way to smuggle your agent in, without raising any eyebrows. Leave it with me. All right. I look forward to working with you, Doctor. Likewise, Colonel. Jeez, my eyes. Ma'am. I'm cautiously optimistic about this. Let's rendezvous here in three days, and we'll see if we can kick off the plan. All right. I'm mainly doing it because she said better food, and that one guy was making... It, it was disgusting. Alright, wake me up in three days, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, doctor? Ah, good. Let's get right into it. I've acquired a set of Gen 2 synth armor. With Perfect. It. When you equip it, I'll be able to bring you along with me to the inst The armor itself should be enough to obscure your identity. Awesome. And don't speak to anyone. Obviously, okay. What next? Once we're inside, we go our separate ways. Inside each of the division head's offices are fuse boxes. After each charge has been affixed, you must make your way back to the elevator and go to the teleporter room. I will remotely activate the relay and return you here. Once I see each division head in their office, I will detonate the charges. The fuse boxes will arc and release bolts of electricity that will eliminate everyone in each office. Any questions? Nope. That's everything. Then we're ready to begin. Put on the synth uniform. You idiot. Looking good. Hey there. Are you ready? Let's do this. Excellent. It will take a few days before I can come to power. 
Once your agent returns, I ask for patience. If they are successful, I will return and invite you into the Institute as our guardians. Remember, keep the uniform on. Avoid contact. Plant the charges and get out. I have some noisemakers for you, Major. You might need to draw people away from certain places. Ooh, sparklers. Good luck, Major. You can do this. Thank you. Oh, God. Go and stay well away from me. Okay, okay. Jesus Christ, man. What do you want? And please, make it quick. You can't be serious! Engaging target. Hey, Mr. Hey. Oh. What the f- Jameson. Jameson. You Sean, you little ass. <gasps> God, Sean's such a little- Jameson. Dead. Like, like you, like how? Move you little fucking turd. Pinocchio wannabe ass. Jameson. Oh my god. All right. Jameson. I don't care. Sorry, doctor. Plan failed. Do you count any slower, ma'am? Six. Okay, that's a yes. Five. Jesus Christ. Four. Did you think we would not see what you have done? Did you think I wouldn't know you've betrayed me? Can you turn the microwave on? After all I've done, the lengths to which I've gone to give you a new home, a new life, for us to be a family. But you have made your choice. From this point on, you are an enemy of the Institute. Should you cross us, we will kill you. Go now, and live whatever meaningless life you can. Relay online and engaging. God, about time. All right, so we gotta walk back. How rude. <sighs> hey. Good to see you in one piece. Yeah. Although, weren't you supposed to teleport here when you were done? Did something happen? Oh boy. Uh, mission failed, I am so sorry. It's my fault. I wasn't able to complete the mission. Damn it. We've given up a huge opportunity. I know, I know. I think that's it then. The only choice we have now is to take them out before they attack us, and they will. Fun. Are you certain this is the only way to end this? I wish there was another way. Destroying them outright is a waste. But the fact of the matter is, they know we tried to infiltrate them now. Any goodwill they may have had towards us is gone. And I'm sure they're planning an attack on us as we speak. Yeah, I did shoot the doctor in the face, so... Then let's get to it. Join me at the oil rig. I'll organize a meeting with the others to plan the attack. Dismissed, Major. All right, I'm going to pick up not my power armor, but some type of enclave power armor. <laughs> it's full of supplies. The meaning of this, soldier? I, I don't know. I saw Private Martin messing with the jammer. I told him the to Brotherhood aside, thought they could take the listen. army depot from us. So I tried to pull him away from us. Next thing I know, he's trying to shoot me. We got a hit on me, but I managed to take him out. Damn. Colonel Whitehill's gonna want to report on this. Get yourself checked out in the med bay. I'll handle things from here. America's ours by right. Don't worry, sir. I'll resolve this. My god, he was a synth. That son of a- Jameson. Check the jammers, people. Uh-oh. Alright, we're gonna be attacked. Thanks for coming, everyone. As you know, 
We have been enemies with the Institute ever since we recovered the Beryllium Agitator. Hostilities have been limited to small firefights here and there, but I am expecting the ferocity of their attacks to step up. We need a way into the Institute so we can destroy them before they can do real damage to us. They're located underneath the original Commonwealth Institute of Technology, but there is no direct path in. Anyone have any suggestions? We had a bird flying over the area recently, equipped with a ground-penetrating radar. Apparently, the Institute isn't very far underground. Looked like there was some kind of room right under the plaza. Maybe we could blow our way in. Maybe. But I'm not sure we have an explosive that's powerful enough. Barrett, you remember those prototypes I got you the other day? Oh, I like your thinking, Myers. Prototypes? The fine folks down in the factory have been working on some breach charges. They ain't ready for mass production, but I do have a handful of them. Rig a few of them together in the plaza, and I guarantee you'll have your way into the Institute. Sounds like we have our way in. Get those charges ready for us, Myers. Everyone else? We'll go over the plan at the crack of dawn. Dismissed. Yes, sir. Rest in your quarters. I'm overdressed for this occasion. How embarrassing. Alright, upgraded some things. Got a power armor. Got a bunch of ammo and guns. And I'm gonna go sleep. Wake up a little early. Wake up at 7 a.m. Get a good early morning on the day. Oh, God damn it. Investigate the cause of the alarm. Take your sweet time getting in the power armor. God, you're right. What's going on? Where's everyone? Uh. Just give me the situation and be quick about it. Institute agents took out the teleport jammers, and now we got synths coming in all over the rig. What? I think Colonel Whitehill is down in the factory level. We need to make sure she's all right. They got you six. Let's go. Hey. All right, downstairs. So yeah, explosive uh, MG rounds. Good work. I do want to avoid friendly fire. I think I lost Fitzpatrick. Go, people. Remember, take the stairs during an emergency. All right, power armor is helping a lot. Who'd have thought? Don't die at me. Bunch of naked robots. Damn robots. Yeah, and I'm the one who can't aim. Ma'am. I can't believe they got here so soon. Some of their agents managed to disable the teleporter jammers, and now their synths have been arriving in droves. In the factory? What are you doing here? It's one of the most defendable places on the oil rig. And we hope that synths wouldn't be able to teleport this far down. Sadly, that didn't pan out. First things first. We need those jammers running again. Myers? Uh, yeah? What can we do about the jammers? My best guess is they shorted the things out. I'm thinking if you pop the panel open and replace their fuses, we'll be up and running in no time. That sounds simple enough. Aside from all the synths in the way. 
Major, we're counting on you to get those fuses installed. Yes, sir. Let me know if you need the fuses. But I've always got some in my pockets. Well, yeah. Hi. Needing some fuses, Major? Yeah, of course I need fuses. You all right? A little shaken. But I'm still breathing, so... Hey. Thanks for asking. All right, enough the chicken. Here, take some anyways. Getting tired of them chinking in my pockets. Yeah, I just carry fuses around with me. Also, I do have my Terminator mod on, because it makes them cooler. And I got the deep voice for synths, because it makes them scarier. Must help fellow Enclave. Yeah! Hell yeah! This old dude is bitten off more than it can chew. Teach that toaster what's up. There's a grenade. Let's put the fuse in. Robots fighting robots. Whoa. Sorry. Those are invisible coursers. You needing some fuses? Yeah. They weren't living to begin with. Jeez, I didn't get hurt at all. All right. Hello, boys. I did uh make all of this uh very anti uh Maybe it's my shield too. But yeah, I made it so it's very effective against energy weaponry. <laughs> Jesus. Someone turned him off. A synth. Alright, everyone's pretty chill. Pretty, everyone's almost pretty chill. 